Hello, I'm your music teacher, Mr. Durante, and this is our Hot Topic of the Week. This is maybe going to be totally awesome! Our essential question is, how do we read music? And our learning target is, I can read, identify, and understand half notes and half rests. You may remember in our last video, we discussed whole notes and whole rests. Ah, uh, those are good memories. Our learning target is, I can read, identify, and understand whole notes and whole rests. Here's a whole note. It sort of looks like a whole. And here's a whole rest. And here's a whole rest on a staff. Whole note is a sound that lasts for four beats. Whereas a whole rest is a silence Today, we're going to see what would happen if we chopped those whole notes and whole rests in half. Hey, did you say you were going to chop us in half? You will never. Yeah, we don't like being chopped in half. You will have to pay. I didn't mean it literally. Too late. Commence battle. Fine, Fine then. then. Commence, commence battle. battle. Whoa! That was a close one. Let's get back to learning about half notes and half rest, shall we? Let's take a look at a half note and a half rest. This is a half note. The circular part of the note is called the note head, and the vertical line going up and down is called the stem. The stems can go up or down. If the stem is going up, then the stem will be attached to the right side of the note head. If the stem is going down, the stem will be attached to the left side of the note head. Now, here is a half rest. It actually kind of looks like a hat. Mr. Durante, can you tell us about your amazing hat? Sure. It's called a half rest. So what does it mean when we see a half note or half rest? Simply put, a half note is a sound that lasts for two beats. And a half rest is a silence that lasts for two beats. We can vocalize a half note by saying ta 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 and we can vocalize a half rest by saying rest rest or it's as easy as that if we want to clap a half note we'll have to do it in a way where it looks like we're holding out the note for two beats like this ta ta Ta, ta. See how I keep my hands together? If you want to show a half rest, we do the opposite by putting our hands out so they don't make any sound. You think in your head, you can think rest, rest. Except don't say rest out loud, just do it in your head. For an instrument like the snare drum, we can either tap it every two beats. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Or we can do that buzz roll that we talked about last week. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. For instruments that use air, such as the recorder, all we need to do is blow a steady stream of air through the instrument while thinking ta in our heads. Remember, we don't want to sound like this. 
keep it down in there. I'm trying to watch the movie Frozen for the 127th time. Okay. For the piano, we want to press and hold the piano keys for two beats. Okay, let's try practicing this at home. We are going to play four half notes followed by four half rests. Remember to use your voice to say ta for our half notes and use your voice quietly to say our rests. Rest. And of course, clap your hands for the notes or rest like this for the rests. Ready? Let's get ready. Ready, set, here we go. Ta, 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 ta. Rest, 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 rest. Good job. Thanks for practicing at home. And I will see you next time. It's as easy as that.